We had no way to transfer our large consumers from their wheelchair into a gait trainer. It was simply not doable, just from the size, the body mechanics point of view. The solo lift is front-loading, so it makes it very easy to do a transfer, and it can, be, it can be done easily with one person. We have never been able to safely transfer a larger person uh, just using two staff members. We'd have to go for safety and security reasons, at least three people, but it would be an extremely difficult lift. One person can do it. You can do it by yourself. You're not waiting for someone. You're not relying on someone else. Um, and it's, it's really very, very safe. I would feel comfortable transferring a consumer with a solo lift by myself. The incidence of anything happening seems so low to me because the vest really does encompass the person. The legs are secure. If you think you're making a mistake or you have the wrong size vest, you can always put the person down, change vests. Our experience, too, is that staff are more likely to use a piece of equipment if it works easily, if it works well, if it makes their day easier. And, uh, and therefore, the consumers benefit because then they're able to, to use that other piece of equipment that otherwise they might not have been able to go mm -hmm. into. And it requires many staff to transfer large consumers, um, probably three to four staff people to transfer somebody over 180 pounds, I would say. Yes. So you, you need somebody to stabilize the chair and the changing table and, you know, three people, one on each side maybe, and then somebody at the legs to really transfer the person safely. And the reality is that we don't have that kind of a staffing ratio. Right.